Ann Arbor, Michigan. Is it expensive? Is it cheap? Is it somewhere kind of in between? Well, I mean, we are talking about the Midwest, so it's gotta be somewhere around there. But Ann Arbor is full of surprises when it comes to the cost of living. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you watch this whole entire video because we're covering the housing costs, the property taxes, the utilities, a night out for two, and everything in between. So stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's going on you guys? If we're meeting here for the first time, my name is Eric Meldrum. I make videos about all things Metro Detroit, what it's like to live here, work here, play here, and the sunshine, and yes, the snow, and everything in between. I'm also a licensed real estate professional and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the Metro Detroit market. We wanna help you do just that. So if you're moving here one month or one year from now, doesn't matter, you gotta get a hold of us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I've even got my Calendly link down below. You can schedule a Zoom call with me and my team and we'd be happy to take you through the city in our eyes. And if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Metro Detroit. All right, guys, let's get right into it. We're talking about the cost of living here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now, the thing about the demographics here in Ann Arbor is there's a lot of people. A lot of people are living in Ann Arbor um, compared to a lot of the surrounding areas. So population here in Ann Arbor, 122,000. Um, the Ann Arbor kind of metro area, I don't know if that's really even a term, but like metro would consider um, Ann Arbor Township, um, you know, the Sio Township, um, the townships that are surrounding it. So there's actually closer to about 200,000 people if you consider the outskirts of not specifically Ann Arbor proper. So roughly 122 to 200,000. Uh, people living here the median income median household income is right around seventy four thousand dollars a year so pretty healthy income in the economy here and then the size of ann arbor is about 29 square miles now a lot of things to love about the 29 square miles of ann arbor and it's been ranked one of the top places to live by so many different things i'm going to read some of the accolades here we got ranked number one best place to live in washington county by niche.com ranked number one best place to live for families by fortune.com ranked number one best place to live in michigan by us news and world report number two best place to live in the whole entire us by livability.com and there's a ton more you guys can go check those out but ann arbor is very much at the top of people's list when moving here to michigan or the midwest it always comes up in the searches we get a lot of questions of hey should we move here versus ann arbor and so on and so forth but ann arbor seems to be the place that draws a lot of people in and for good reason all right, so seeing that Ann Arbor is really close to everything, I mean, you're about 35 minutes from the airport, you got 45 minutes to downtown Detroit, you can get pretty much anywhere in Metro Detroit within 45 minutes. I think the furthest place, um, Shelby Township or like Rochester area, it's gonna take you about an hour to get there from Ann Arbor, maybe a little bit over an hour. So just giving you a frame of reference in distance wise, Ann Arbor is on the west side of, of Detroit. And then as you've watched any of my videos, Metro Detroit area is kind of this like umbrella over the Detroit area since Detroit butts up against um, the river there and then Canada is on the other side. We have nothing on the other side of Detroit. So everything is really like an umbrella or rainbow. That's a, that's a new one. We'll call it a rainbow. I like a rainbow better. So a rainbow right over Detroit and Ann Arbor is just on the west outskirts of the rainbow. That would be like, I don't know, what's the what's the tip of the color on a rainbow? We'll have to look that up. Purple or red or something like that. Um, it's, it's the red, it's the red zone in the rainbow. So we'll we'll go with that. So the location for Ann Arbor couldn't be better for freeways, access to 94, 23, 14, all these freeways that surround Ann Arbor can take you west, east, north, south. So have no problem getting around Ann Arbor, but yes, it does get a little bit congested um, coming into work and then leaving rush hour, but that's normal pretty much anywhere here in the Metro Detroit area. All right, so the first one we're gonna start with, and I think you guys are gonna thank me for this. Now, um, I always start with some of the easy ones first, and you're like, oh man, Eric, just get to the houses. Like, we wanna know what it's gonna cost to buy a house here in Ann Arbor. Well, I've listened, I've seen your comments, I know. We're gonna start with the houses. All right, so average home here in Ann Arbor is gonna cost you right around $418,000. Now, when we compare that to the national average, 
and national average is right around 292,000. And then the average here in Michigan is right around 208,000. So more than double the uh, the Michigan average and then just about $100,000 over the national average. Um, so when you're looking at these type of, of uh, stats, you really kind of judge like, is it affordable in that regard? So in, according to the national average, we're well above the national average. So a little bit more expensive, um, but way less expensive than cities like San Francisco, LA, um, New York, Chicago, and Ann Arbor, frankly, gets a lot of people coming from a lot of those major cities who have lived in LA, lived in San Francisco because of so many tech jobs here. You know, we get a lot of engineers, we get a lot of um, healthcare professionals, and also people that are in kind of startups that are, are surrounding the healthcare, surrounding the automotive industry, and they move here and they're like, man, if I would have known real estate was this cheap in Ann Arbor, compared to San Francisco or LA or New York, I would have moved here a lot sooner, you know? So it's kind of crazy in comparison. It's just, you know, compared to other places in the US, um, Ann Arbor can seem like a really good deal. But when you look at the stats to, to Michigan, it's well above the median. And then if you are looking to rent in the Ann Arbor area, rent for a one bedroom is gonna cost you right around $1,400. Now, if you're going for a two bedroom, just goes up to about $1,800. Um, but rental market here in Ann Arbor has been on the increase year over year. Rents have just kept going up and up and up. And finally, the city had to do something about it. So yes, Ann Arbor is getting some affordable housing. There's a lot more projects, but those aren't gonna be built soon enough. There's a big demand and the real estate market here in Ann Arbor has been in demand for quite some time. You know, Normally when we have a recession or something happening outside in the global economy, Ann Arbor is like that little slice of Michigan that is really like recession proof. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's almost recession proof in the sense that it doesn't matter what the other real estate markets are doing. Ann Arbor is just a slow, steady increase year over year. And then some years like 2020 and 2021, you saw the big jump just like most places around the US, but it's kind of leveled off and it keeps going up and up. So for that reason, you know, if you're looking for a home in Ann Arbor, um, you are up against some stiff competition, but luckily you have us here who are great negotiators and know the market inside and out. So one of the questions I get a lot is, what type of homes can I expect to find in Ann Arbor? You know, if I wanna be downtown or if I wanna be in a, um, a subdivision, can I find that type of lifestyle? And that's always the question I ask is like, what type of lifestyle are you going for? You know, we get clients moving in that are looking to be in the downtown area. Um, they're perfectly fine with lofts. They want something close to downtown where they can walk to all the restaurants, the coffee shops, or maybe even if your office is down, downtown or you want to walk to the university, that is totally doable, you know, and that can be actually more affordable than you think. Um, just in terms of some of the houses, like if you're willing to give up some of the amenities in the houses where you might want a little bit older house um, you don't need as much space but you are sacrificing to be downtown those homes do exist you know you can get into homes in the downtown area for anywhere from 450 to 500 600 in those price ranges and be super close to downtown but hey you might not have a garage but that might be okay with you to sacrifice because you don't have a car you're gonna be walking everywhere, totally fine. So we go over all that when we sit down with our clients via Zoom and we talk about the lifestyle and then we understand a little bit more about what you're going for and we can suggest some areas that would make the most sense based on your lifestyle. So one of the things I love is showcasing one of the most expensive homes here in Ann Arbor. And this one right here is listed at 2.6 million. It's the most expensive home on the market today. And then on the flip side, we have the least expensive home, which is a condo, and that's listed at $140,000. So you can check that out there. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about some groceries here in Ann Arbor. Now you got your house all situated, you know what it's gonna cost to buy a home here in Ann Arbor, or have some idea of what the average price point is, but what's it gonna cost for groceries? Well, if you're buying a lot of eggs, um, I can assure you it's gonna be pretty expensive. But there's a lot of options here in Ann Arbor, anywhere from you know, the farmer's market to local grocery stores, um, to some specialty grocery stores. And Ann Arbor has a wide range of those, those type of stores. So one thing I will caveat on this is I don't think groceries are any more expensive or any more or less expensive than anywhere here in Michigan. Um, when I looked at the stats, it's actually even, it's 99% of 
of the, the national average. So even nationally, uh, groceries are not more expensive, but it, I will say it does depend on what store you go to. So stores here in Ann Arbor, like Plum Market, or maybe some specialty markets, um, I usually call out Plum because I've shopped there a couple of times. I really love the store. It's super clean. It's super well organized. Um, they got some great products, locally sourced fruits, locally sourced vegetables, um, even locally sourced meats um, that they have here, but it's super expensive. I don't know why um, I can find the same stuff at Whole Foods. So I love Plum Market. This is not a diss on Plum Market. Um, they do a great job, but it is a little bit more expensive than others. So you just got to kind of play around with the different stores. Like if you find something at Plum Market that you can't find at Whole Foods or Kroger or Meyer or even Trader Joe's. And yes, Ann Arbor does have a Trader Joe's. I'll show you exactly where that is. Uh, Ann Arbor does have uh, Whole Foods as well, multiple locations. And then for all my people who love Costco, I know you want to love Costco just as much as I do. It is right here in Ann Arbor, so you don't have to drive far. You got basically everything you need. You got the Whole Foods, got Trader Joe's, you got Costco, and then you get all the specialty markets. And then there's even some regional uh, grocery stores, Kroger, uh, Meyer. those ones are, are great too. So you got your pick of the litter in grocery stores, but in terms of groceries, um, it's not gonna be any more expensive or less expensive than the national average. All right, so next up, let's talk about some utilities. Now, everybody needs internet, cable. Um, well, if you're like me, you don't really need cable. I just watch Netflix or I actually watch a lot of YouTube videos just like this. So if you're binging on YouTube videos, shout out to my people. Um, we're getting educated, we're learning, we're learning together. So that's cool. But in terms of utilities, I would say you are going to be paying right around 270 a month for uh, gas and electric. Now, if you're doing um, internet and cable, that's going to be an addition. Um, you can go anywhere from straight internet. And I know there's plans with local providers for around 70 to hundred dollars, depending on what upload and download speed you want. It can get a little bit more expensive if you're getting into, uh, you know, the fiber optics. But if you're doing a, a package where you can get cable as well, you can probably get into the high 100s, if not crossing the 200 mark. So, you know, 270 for your gas and electric and anywhere from 100 to 200 and 250, I would say, uh, for your cable and internet package as well. Now, the other thing for utilities is if you're gonna be living in Ann Arbor specifically, um, you're gonna have to pay water and trash. So that's gonna be an added expense. Just note, that's gonna be nominal, maybe a couple, couple hundred bucks every quarter order for those type of, of services. So if you're living on the outskirts of Ann Arbor a little bit, you might be in an area that has well and septic. So those type of things are going to actually lower your expenses. You need to get your septic tank cleaned out once every like five to five to seven years. If you have a family of three to four, or might be a little bit sooner because you want to change that over. It could fill up a little faster, but we're not getting into all that. Um, if you are on well as well, you have a very low monthly cost. Um, you just need to add salt to the, the softener and service that you know once in a while to make sure everything's working properly. So those can limit your cost on those utilities as well. All right, so we talked about your house. We talked about your utilities. We talked about some groceries. Now, what about going out, entertainment here in Ann Arbor? Well, there's a lot of things to do in Ann Arbor and one of our favorite things to do is going out to eat. So you could go out to eat pretty much every day of the week in Ann Arbor and still not visit all the restaurants here in the city. Um, there's a lot to choose from and there's new ones coming constantly. Some of our favorites is Saba's. Um, it's right downtown on uh, State Street. And then they also have another location called the Dixboro Project. If you're um, willing to go outside a little bit, oh, it's not that far. I'm like talking like it's it's like way over, over here. It's like a 10 minute drive from Ann Arbor, um, but it's a really cool location. They got a wood burning uh, oven for pizzas um, and the chef just does an amazing job. So when my wife and I go out to eat, we take the kids usually. Um, so I'll give you two kind of examples. Um, I'll give you an example of us going out to eat with uh, just me and my wife on our date nights. And then when we take the kids out. So if we're going to somewhere like um, Dixboro Project, for example, that's kind of more of an upscale, a um, little bit more expensive, but you know, we went there for our anniversary and our bill with cocktails was right around $150, um, you know, for the, for the two of us, we shared some meals, but on average, I think restaurants in the Ann Arbor area for dinner for two, it's going to cost you right around 
around 60 to a hundred dollars you know if you're having drinks then it's going to be a little bit more expensive when we go out to eat with our kids we usually go to um, not as nice of locations we'll usually take them to a place that has kids meals or somewhere that you know they have something they're going to eat mac and cheese pizza grilled cheese you know and there's tons of places in ann arbor for that one of our favorites is actually pretzel bells um, right downtown in um, the heart of Ann Arbor on Maine and Liberty. And that's a fun story behind Pretzel Bells. It used to be, uh, there's a Pretzel Bells building right across the street. It's actually where the Avalon Bakery is. And uh, that used to be a bar. So back in the day, all the college students, you know, they would go to this bar. It was kind of a staple. Um, it was more of like a sports bar. People would go there after games, for games to watch them and just cheer on the University of Michigan. And eventually it closed down. And then, uh, you know, that building got taken over by some office and the Avalon Bakery is a few places before that. But the owners of a couple other restaurants in town wanted to bring the name back. So they're like, man, we got a, we, we had a chance to, to buy this restaurant, which they did right on uh, uh, Liberty and Main there. And they took the name and called it Pretzel Bells to bring back kind of the old school vibe from that building. So it's kind of cool. That's the story behind it. But Pretzel Bells is a great place. When we got to eat with our kids, we're going to spend anywhere from 50 to $75, you know, for a dinner for four. So um, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's that expensive, but there's also, you know, very inexpensive options. There's a diner right around the corner, um, downtown Ann Arbor and, you know, a bunch of Con Coney Islands. If you're Let me take a break here since we're talking about food. If you're coming here to Michigan, you have to try National Coney Island. Now, you want to go downtown or on the east side, try National Coney Island. That was the original, but there's a ton of other diners in Coney Island, spin outs, you know, from the National Coney, uh, which are all really good, but I still like the, the National Coney Island. It's the original, um, just something about it, you know, that's that nostalgia from growing up with it. I don't know what it is, but the other Coney Islands are good. But my point is, out of all this, is you can still find uh, really inexpensive meals for going out to eat with the kids. You know, there's there's diners, so you can spend anywhere from 30 to 50 to 60, just depending on what type of experience you want. But Ann Arbor has a ton of options. All right, so I saved the best for last, and well, I should say the most expensive for last, which is the property taxes here in Ann Arbor. Now, this is where I see a lot of my clients get hung up. Like, we're okay paying for the house. We, we talked about the groceries, we talked about the utilities. Everything seems pretty reasonable, pretty not too far off from where you're probably currently at today. But when it comes to property taxes, this is where some of the shock and awe comes in. And, you know, I'll give you some alternatives here, but let's go through an example. The property taxes in Ann Arbor are about right around 1.65%. So if you're buying a $500,000 house, times that by 1.65%, it's gonna be right around $8,000 a year. Divide that by 12 and you got your monthly tax bill. So that's gonna get rolled into your mortgage on top of your monthly payment, your principal and interest, you have your taxes in there. And then if you're doing uh, less than 20%, calculating all those other fees for the PMI and everything, there is gonna be your monthly payment. All right, so $8,000 divided by 12, that comes out to around $666 per month. Now, I know there's a lot of things that you could do with $666 per month, but there's also a lot of things that are covered in your taxes here in Ann Arbor. They have a lot of great civil services, um, anywhere from trash, the snow removal, you know, trimming trees in the area. Um, a lot of these things are covered, right? You also have a very safe area. So police, fire, all those things are considered when you're paying your property taxes, this is what you're paying for. So I would just urge you and, and encourage you to check some of those out before you dis start discounting Ann Arbor as a place to live just because of the taxes. Now, you know, there are some neighboring surrounding areas that are just as expensive, um, you know, Northville, Plymouth, those taxes can get up there as well. Um, Dexter can also get up there, but if you're gonna be living on the outskirts in a township, you're gonna be able to knock that down a little bit and you get township taxes, um, which can save you a few hundred bucks a month. And you get some township taxes, which could ultimately save you anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks a month in your taxes. Uh, don't quote me on that, so definitely run the numbers. But like I said, if you're living on the outskirts in some of the townships, your tax bill can get lowered uh, quite significantly. So just pay attention to that um, and really dive in and understand what you're getting for those taxes. I encourage you to do that again. All right, you guys, so we covered a lot of ground in the cost of living here in Ann Arbor. Now, I'm sure there's some things I missed. I wanted to keep this high level just to go over the majors. So if there's something important that I left out of this video, you know, feel free to reach out or better yet, drop that in the comments below. If you likely have the question, that means somebody else might as well. So we want to help 
help benefit and educate some other viewers that might be watching. So go ahead and drop in those comments. And remember, if you guys are ready to make that move here to Ann Arbor, then go ahead and get a hold of us. I put my Calendly link down below so you can schedule a Zoom call with me. We'll hop on. We can talk all about the lifestyle that you're going for, help match you up with the best area here in the Ann Arbor or Metro Detroit area, and uh, get you on your way making that smooth move here to Michigan. So if you're ready to do that, just click that link, schedule that Zoom call, and uh, we look forward to talking to you. So hopefully this video is helpful to shine some light on the cost of living in Ann Arbor. So go ahead and subscribe, tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Ann Arbor. And until next time, go watch these other videos all about Metro Detroit, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.